Hey guys, so welcome to my first All Seven account update video, or at least my first proper account update video. So in the past week, I've been training my skills up, just generally across the board, just going through getting skills. Now, what I've always had in mind is quest requirements. Now, I know Recipe for Disaster has some high level quest requirements, Legends has some high level quest requirements, and I've just been going through getting a lot of the skills. Because even if I'm not going for quest keep, Going for all the requirements for all the quests gives your levels like quite an even spread, and just generally being pretty decent levels, and it gives you a, it gives you a reason and something to aim for. So that's basically what I've been doing. So I don't want to drag this um, these videos out too long though, and I obviously haven't got clips of every single skill because sometimes it's just not convenient for me to record it. But um, let's just move into the levels then. So now I'm moving into the levels. Now, one thing is that I can't actually remember exactly what order I train stuff in. So I will just be putting them in a random order. Um, I could have worked it out, but I mean, I can't be bothered. I'm lazy. But basically, my aim was to get 50 woodcutting because this was a requirement for Legends Quest. Now, obviously I was pretty low woodcutting, so my first aim was to get to 41. That would enable me to use a rune, a hatchet, which is obviously good pretty much, apart from the dragon axe, but that's not till 60, which is, I guess, a little while away when you're 40. I mean, it's, it's pretty fast levels. Like, I mean, it, you can get so many levels up in a day when you're at this level. It's kind of nice, and it's kind of cool for me to get a lot of levels because that's not, like, what I'm used to, obviously being a Comcade player for so long. And also, there's an end. They are so annoying. All I want to do is AFK, and then you sat there, you ba your axe gets broken, and you're stuck. But anyway, there was 41 woodcutting, and that means I could get a rune axe. And then eventually, after a lot more AFKing, I was nearing 50, and as you can see, I'm pretty close there. Um, so basically, one reason I was training 50 woodcutting as well was because I was out of logs for fire making. I did a bit of fire making first of logs I had. Um, I had like a lot of normal logs in the bank, a lot of oak logs, and some willows. Because obviously I had to already get 36 woodcutting so that I could do Lost City Quest a while ago. However, this wasn't part of the series. I was doing that a while ago just so I had access to fairy rings. Um, so obviously I, I did run out of logs. As I can say, I'm 44 fire making on the screen there. And I obviously ran out of logs and I wanted to get 50 fire making because 50 fire making is another requirement for Legends Quest. Um, but eventually I'll pick up 50, um, 50 woodcutting here. But I, also, another thing I've noticed is that I swear your axe head never flies off. I swear that was a random event back in the day. But I have trained mining now. As you can see, I'm 40 mining. I did that before I started the series. And my axe head never flew off during mining. And neither did my woodcutting axe head ever fall off. But I seem to remember they did change that. Like, they changed that before they updated all the other random events. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but I think it must have been removed because people were like stealing each other's heads and it just wasn't good. But anyway, there's 50 woodcutting, um, so that's a nice little achievement to get. Just just getting all your levels up a little bit is kind of nice, you know. Um, I really should do more farming runs, actually. I haven't really been committed to doing it so much. Anyway, this is how I've been doing fire making. So I just recorded like a few minutes of me training it. It's sped up about three times though, I'm not sure how much I actually sped it up, but, so basically I'm just doing it in Varrock, I've got runes in my inventory, so you can see I've got law runes, fire runes, and I'm wearing an air staff, so that means I can teleport to Varrock, obviously ideally you just use Varrock tabs, but they're a bit hard to get, and basically what I do is, I get the um, logs out, teleport to Varrock centre, and start here, and them two lines are enough, uh, if you're going really fast sometimes you catch up to your fires, but it's generally, it's okay, uh, especially when I'm not doing it full speed, like, I'm no pro skiller, but the reason I put my tinder box there is that it's, it's the closest location to all the logs in my inventory, and that's why I put the runes there because they're the two furthest part, the furthest spots away from my tinder box. So yeah, I'm just doing the little things that aid me here. Uh, but willow log fire making in general is really quick; like you get such fast levels. Um, so yeah, I just stopped the clip there because now I've skipped to me about to get 50 fire making, which is pretty awesome. Um, it didn't take too long, like, it just generally is. I swear you do, like, one inventory of normal logs from level one, and you get so many levels, it's just... the the uh, It's unbalanced compared to woodcutting XP. You get so much l less woodcutting XP. But I guess then you've got to take into account you need woodcutting for fletching, and you also need it for fire making, so you need it in two ways. And as you can see, I just absolutely fucked up there, which is so annoying when you do that. And also, like, when you're level one... Um, it takes you so long to light the first log, you sat there, you're at the log like so many times to do it, and I don't understand. Anyway, there's 50 fire making, uh, but one thing I don't understand about the fire making thing is that no matter what log you're using, it's the same chance to light, I, th I think. Like, if you're level 75 for magic logs, you won't fail, it's just like being level 1. 
uh, level one is the only place you'll fail. But anyway, I was also training some agility. Now, I could have done toy mice at the time, um, because they have been nerfed, the toy mice, but I never really knew about them. I knew they existed, but I never thought about doing it. I just didn't really get the whole thing with the toy mice. Like, I know people have used them in the past. I remember when I first started RuneScape, I had always seen people with toy mice, but I never quite understood it. But anyway, so I was doing the um, Grimhaven Agility Arena from about 42 or something like that, and I was doing Barbarian Outpost from 35 to that, and you were already, like, you got 25 at the Gnome Stronghold from the start, and you got to 31 from, like, the Grand Tea Quest. But that's pretty awesome, and I actually like the Brimhaven Agility Arena. I mean, it's frustrating, as you can see, me getting annoyed in game at how much I was failing, especially the darts. The darts is what really pisses me off and riles me up, because you stood there, and all you do is... Louis your stats, Louis your stats, Louis your stats, and it's just so, such a nice feeling when you do it first time, though. Um, but that's where you want to stand, as you can see. Like, I'm going to the centre of the arena. Now, this means I'm closest to every single other obstacle. But I recommend if you're doing this, the ones you want to avoid are the level 40 obstacles. They're the darts and the spinning blades. Obviously, you want to take them if it's necessary. But eventually, I got 100 tokens, which was enough to get me to the level 50, which I wanted. Um, I wanted to get level 50. That was really what I was aiming for. But I thought, there's no point in not getting 100. Um, I actually got 200. I cashed in 100 already. Um, so I've cashed them in. Blah, blah, blah. 52 agility, which has actually worked out really nice, because as you can see, I can access the Wilderness Agility Arena, which is actually a really good place to train. Um, you, you tend not to fail too much there, but when you get to about level 70, it turns out to be good at the Apatol. I think you stop failing at Apatol at level 75. But here, you can see me, I'm doing a quest. I'm actually doing Shiloh Village quest. Um, this, so this gives you access to Shiloh Village. The main reason I'm doing this was so that I can get access to Shiloh Village, uh, so that I could train fishing. Now, I didn't actually get any fishing clips, but since this quest, I have got fishing up. Um, I also did some runecrafting, a little bit. I'm up to 44 runecrafting, but I want to aim for 50, and you'll see that in next week's episode. Um, obviously, the fish I will get, I will also use for cooking at some point, because 70 cooking is needed for um, Recipe for Disaster. And it, actually, just to mention that landslide, I just failed there. When I did that as a noob, I failed it so much because I was only the level 32 agility requirement. But anyway, that's Shiloh Village done. Um, that's everything that I've done this week. So thanks for watching.